what is ecf in bowl what is ecf maybe the external function sorry in bowel cellular fluid extra cellular fluid okay but in bowel bowel i am asking is it some sort of a fistula yeah which fistula is a fistula it is a entero cutaneous entero cutaneous fistula so what happens is when we operate it is also most common hydrogenic when we operate accidentally we may injure a part of our bowel okay so this will cause leakage of the contents through the abdominal wound onto the skin so this will cause a enterocutaneous fistula so their types are high output and low output we call it as high output and low output high output is more than 500 low output is less than 200 okay and the most common complication with this is the skin fluid electrolyte it is leaking outside so skin problems will be there skin necrosis will be there because the gastric contents are very much toxic so there will be skin problems there will be fluid electrolyte imbalances and there will be sepsis infection okay highest electrolyte imbalance is caused because of duodenal fistula okay so what are the principles to principles to treat this fistula snap principles they are known as snap principles sepsis control If you control the infection first you then treat the nutrition aspect of the patient anatomical assessment do a anatomical assessment by doing an investigation properly and then plan for surgery so these are the snap principles snap principles are what sir what anatomical anatomical construction reconstruction do a ct and find okay. out where the anatomy how is the fistula lying like okay then b is p is plan for surgery oh. okay these are snap principles and this fistula should close by itself otherwise only sometimes they will be not closing okay so the factors preventing the fistulas are high output fistulas won't close low output will close and friends the mnemonic is friends f is foreign body r is radiation i is infection e is epithelialization Neoplasm. N is neoplasm. D is distal obstruction. S is sepsis. If any of these factors is there, the fistula won't heal. Okay, so you have to remove. If any foreign body suture is there, you have to remove. If any radiation is there, you have to stop it. If there is infection, treat it. Epithelialization, D D D epithelialize it. Neoplasm, treat it. Distal obstruction, remove it. Sepsis is there, treat it. Okay, these anything is there. the fistula will not heal okay d is what sir d of distal obstruction distal obstruction distal obstruction means suppose this is the duodenum this is the jejunum if there is a distal some some uh, bijor is there here there is a fistula here if you correct it also because of this fistula again it will leak there only because of this uh, obstruction so what you have to do first remove this obstruction and then correct the fistula so that the fistula will get healed on itself Okay. What is E? What is E? E is epithelialization. The fistula, if it gets okay. epithelialized, that means it became mature. Then it is very difficult to heal it. So immature is it is not having any epithelium. Only tube. Then it is easy to treat, isn't it? And okay. N was for which one? N. Neoplasm. Neoplasm. Okay. Now coming to. Hirschsprung's disease. Morning also we are discussing of something about Hirschsprung's disease. In which in which uh, topic we are discussing? Esophageal. Uh, Achalasia cardi. Yeah. See these two points. There is failure of migration of neural cusp. There also there is failure of migration of ganglion cell. Okay. So here see the dilated part is normal. Dilated part is abnormal. In achalasia. Dilated part is normal. Dilated part is abnormal and constricted part is normal there. Okay. Oh okay. yes. That that is the difference. So, so it is most common. Once again, please. Sorry. Last slide. The last slide. 
okay so this disease most commonly involves the rectum it most commonly involves the rectum it may involve any part of the intestine but most commonly it involves the rectum so what are the clinical features in newborn there is delayed passage of meconium see here the obstruction is at the almost the end in the rectum so the patient the newborn is not passing meconium delayed passage of meconium you have to suspect this one in children there will be constipation with fecal soiling in adults there will be constipation alone okay so these are the clinical features whenever a patient is constipated children delayed passage of meconium you have to suspect something of hispans disease so investigations what is the investigation of choice rectal biopsy suddenly by 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 biopsy in a non malignant case if it is malignancy i can understand just to take out sample from it this is a non malignant case but why i am telling to take a malignant condition sorry is it a pre malignant condition no i told you there will be absence of neural crest cells neural crest cells okay absence of neural crest cells so once you take a biopsy and you examine it if there is absence of biopsy, absence of these cells then it is a confirmatory that it is having hispan disease okay and pressures again anal manometry anal manometry there is something absent it is recto anal inhibitory reflex okay don't go into the details but just for completion sake anal manometry pressure findings are there anal manometry also is done but the investigation of choice is rectal biopsy okay and barium enema is showing a question mark colon see this question marks like it is almost like a question mark right yes no sir okay then where is saturday appearance diverticulosis sigma diverticulosis okay so what is the treatment suppose this is the bowel this is the large intestine this is the rectum here the problem is here nothing is going below so what can be done you can just resect it and anastomose it to the anal canal or you will re, re, you will uh, keep this keep this like that and you will pull it pull through you will do a pull through just pull it off pull it below so one is resection technique and the other is pull through technique either of them you can do for reconstruction okay yes no yes sir okay and you displace a small intestine and neuro neuroendocrine tumors tomorrow we'll be doing in uh, pancreas again the same topics we'll be doing carcinoid and all so